Hey, this is Ron. Uh, we've worked up to Lab 6. Uh, we're talking about uh, the Cisco IFS, which is the, uh, the actual file system on here. Uh, so what I've got in front of you is just a, a bare-bones router. I uh, haven't really configured it other than to add an IP address to the fast Ethernet interface uh, so that I could link it up with my computer. On that computer is running a TFTP server. So I've verified that I have connectivity by doing a, a ping. Uh, and then I'm just going to go through a, a couple of commands that I find uh, useful. Uh, so if I'm in a uh, privilege exec mode. If I do uh, just a, a question mark, there's a bunch of commands that you can do. So copy is a pretty useful command. Uh, CD, change directory, I have not used uh, a lot. Um, DIR I've used a lot um, and that's uh, I guess I've used uh, delete a couple of times you know for deleting things off of my flash so you can do a uh, show uh, let's see here well, let's just do a DIR DIR by default is going to do a uh, it's going to show you what's on your flash so currently the only thing I have on my flash is my iOS uh, if you do a uh, DIR question mark so these are all the different uh, file systems on here so there's the flash that I was just talking about but you also have NVRAM and you have system so NVRAM is where your startup config is filed so if we do an N NVRAM there we go there's the startup config so when you do a copy start run you're actually copying from NVRAM to system which is your RAM so if we do a DIR system this is our RAM which has the running config on it alright so again I don't I don't usually mess with NVRAM I don't mess with system uh, everything you pretty much do is on the flash alright uh, so I've done uh, copy run flash so what this is going to do is it's going to copy the running config and make a backup of it onto the flash drive. Uh, and it's going to take the host name and then put config afterwards. Alright. So you hit enter. In this case I have a really small flash. Uh, and on this style router it always asks me if I want to uh, if I want to format. I'm going to say no. It's going to go ahead and copy it. So now when I do a directory I've got that in there. If I do a show flash it's on there as well. Now of note, uh, I could do a delete uh, flash colon router dash config. It'll ask me if I want to do that. I'm going to say no. In this case, uh, yeah, so aborted. One thing to note is it'll still be on there. It'll just show up as a delete and until I format this flash it's gonna be there uh, so it's kind of annoying but you know whatever uh, the thing that I find you know most uh, most helpful is again making backups you know you can back it up to the flash that's all fine and dandy until your flash somehow formats itself or you screw up a command and you hose your flash. I've I've uh, configured a router and mailed it somewhere with you know specific directions. Hey, just plug it in. You know, turn it on. You should be good to go. But they get it and there's uh, there's nothing on the flash or there's no startup config. You know, something weird has happened to it in shipping uh and uh it has lost its config so unless i make a another backup 
you know, off of the actual router, you know, I'm going to be reconfiguring it all over again. And then, you know, you know, the whole worry about getting an iOS and this and that. So you can do a copy uh, flash. You could call in and put the uh, uh, put the name of the file that you want. I'm going to paste that in there. You can do TFTP colon uh, slash slash 192.168.0.18 is my computer. Uh, and I'm going to save it as the same file name. So I'm just going to paste that in there and I'm going to hit enter. All, th all of that basically just ends up filling out this wizard anyway. So you could do a copy flash TFTP and enter them down here. Or uh, you could do it like I just did. Uh, so it says address, yep, that's my uh, computer, destination, yep, and then it's going to start pushing it. So this process might take a little bit, uh, depending upon the size of your iOS, uh, but uh, essentially it's just going to continue to push it until complete. Um, now I, I do this with my iOSs, I keep a backup of that. But then I'll do the same thing uh, with my running config. I'll do a, a copy uh, running dash config space TFTP. And uh, so I'll push a copy of that, you know, to my computer. So now I have a heart or a uh, uh, another copy off of the router of the iOS and the running config. So should something happen, I can easily get back to it. Uh, so that, so that's you know the basic commands that I've used uh, in the the I, Iowa IFS so directory uh, show f uh, delete um, copy um, and I know there's a couple other little ones but you know I just don't use them you know uh, I have done a uh, uh, copy flash Uh, let's see if this one does it. No, so th this mode, this one doesn't support it in the actual iOS. Uh, but I've done a copy flash X modem. So X modem allows you to copy from uh, from your console port. So in a in a pinch, you know, I've transferred uh, an iOS over the console port into the flash. Now, being that the console port baud rate is 9600 I would recommend uh, changing that because you that's an extremely slow rate to transfer at uh, so you can you can change that via going to uh, fig t line con zero uh, and you can do a speed setting and change the speed there now again, you can't just choose any speed. You're going to want to choose a speed that uh, uh, this thing's going to support. So 9600 is the default. I usually use something like 115200. But again, this is like worst case scenario to transfer it that way because it's going to be extremely slow. In the case of this router, uh, it doesn't even allow you uh, to do the copy flash X modem from the iOS. I guess they assume that if you're in, uh, if you're booted up to that point, you might as well use, you know, TFTP, you know, something along the lines. It, it doesn't really make sense to do it via X modem, but you, but you know, there there are instances I've I've done, uh, I've had a layer three switch uh, lose its uh, flash, and uh, I've had to use X modem to copy it from the router to the switch port module uh, it took about uh, two hours to copy I mean you know, depending upon the size of your you know iOS it can take quite a while uh, I have instead done a TFTP download and I'll show you that we'll do a reload I'm not going to save we're going to go ahead and reload so this is okay. You you're booting your uh, your router, and uh, for some reason it doesn't 
recognize your iOS. Like I've had my iOS get corrupted. Um, I've had my iOS be too large uh, to expand into RAM. So, oh, come on. So, for whatever reason, I've had it, you know, boot up and not be able to, uh, not be able to load that iOS into RAM, and I end up staring at uh, ROM on. So, like I said before, you have X modem and you have TFTP download. Uh, to do X modem, let's just do a help. Should be at the bottom. So X modem. So it looks like it's an X modem dash R. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Ready to receive file. So you're gonna go to file. You're gonna go to transfer X modem and send, and then you're just gonna pick your file and it's gonna start pushing it. Again, this is extremely slow, uh, and I would only use it as a last resort. Uh, the last one I'm gonna talk about is TFTP download, uh, and through the magic of uh, video, I'm gonna. I'm going to wait uh, to show you that. Alright, so here we are uh, back in Raman. Uh, I've performed the TFTP download. Uh, it took quite a while. Uh, the transfer was quick, but everything that happened afterwards took pretty long. Uh, but here's the basics. Alright, so from Raman, I just executed a TFTP download. Alright. That TFTP download uh, brought up this menu of all these different things. Uh, it's basically just telling you how, how you're supposed to execute the command. Well, here's what's important out of here. These, this IP address, IP subnet mask, default gateway, TFTP server, TFTP uh, file. So what I did is I just highlighted each one and copied them. IP address, then did you know the next one the next one and so basically down here I copied out IP address put equals put the IP that I wanted the router to have IP subnet mass default gateway and I just went down the line uh, until I had all of these filled out up here and then executed another TFTP download so what I ended up with was what I had entered and then it asked me, hey, this is for disaster recovery only. Well, obviously, we need that because we don't have anything on our flash. Our flash got completely hosed. Uh, I put a yes and automatically started transferring. All right. That process took a little while. But here's what really took a little while, or took a while, is it had to erase the flash at, and it went through all these different uh, spots on the flash and then it had to program the flash uh, and so again this took forever so I'm just gonna do a, a confreg 0x2102 so everything boots normally and do a reset and as long as the new iOS copied and everything's happy our router should boot back up so so this is how was from a complete and utter failure uh, either on our part or, or on the flash or something that for whatever reason the iOS was completely gone I mean I've I've had flashes uh, get formatted you know while in the mail don't ask me how but uh, for from whatever reason you know you send it and it gets to its destination and there's nothing on the flash I've had uh, uh, flashes get corrupted I had had iOS's get corrupted in transfer and and so you know in each of those cases when you go to boot it up you're staring at ROM on uh, and and you're you're kicking and screaming but you know I, I've shown with a little bit of work you you know you can use the TFTP download uh, to get back up and running 
uh, at least bare minimum you can throw a really small iOS on there just like a baseline IP or an IP base uh, iOS on there and then once you get in transfer your larger one because believe me it, it transfers a little faster but but you can get backup runs and you know, don't freak out uh, it is possible uh, I hope uh, you've learned something from the video uh, again I covered a you know not a ton of material but some kind of lesser known uh, things that you can uh, do to get your flash up and running so uh, thanks for watching